everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the 10 products I would repurchase tag, and that means if someone stole all of my makeup, which I hope would never happen, I would go out and repurchase these 10 products right now. So I have all of my products in this cute little bag, I'm just going to go through them, and on a side note, I'm sorry if I sound sick, I am still a little bit sick. I'm in this like in between a cold and the flu kind of stage, and I'm just getting towards the end of it, so if I sound a little stopped up, I am, I'm sorry, but I really wanted to film this video because I haven't been getting to film a whole lot lately. So let's go ahead and go into it. The first product would be my NARS Sheer Glow. This is my holy grail foundation. I feel the most confident when my skin looks flawless and glowing and just looks radiant and this is what does it for me. This is my second bottle. I've been using it for almost a year and I have found nothing to beat it. And it's so light on the face. It feels nice and refreshing and it's not too heavy. And the best part is you can get a good medium, maybe full coverage, but it looks like you're wearing nothing. Like, it looks like your skin is just naturally perfect. Next, I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is one of the best setting powders I've ever found. The reason I love this powder so much is because you can add on as literally as much as you want and it's not going to look cakey, it's not going to look powdery, and it still gives you that natural skin kind of look. I have a lot of other powders that I like, but they do make me look a little bit too matte or powdery, so I have to spray something like MAC Fix Plus over it to make the normality to my face come back. So I love this. It's great at preventing oil. Even during the summer and the hottest months, it would prevent oil and still keep my face looking natural. Next, I have my Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm. I don't hear about this too much on YouTube, and I don't know why, because I absolutely love this product, and I think it's amazing, and a lot of people would love it. It's uh, the perfect matte bronzer. It's actually my favorite. Um, it's extremely pigmented. I'll show you. I barely touch it, and a ton of product. I got this on Hot Look, and I think I got it for about 10 bucks, but I think it retails for maybe 20 or 30 so it's kind of expensive, but I would definitely pay the full price for this. This gives you the perfect bronze look to your face. I'm wearing it now, and it gives the most beautiful contour. I haven't found anything so far that I've used that gives that really defined, kind of natural looking contour. Some bronzers are too orange, and some are too red. I think this is right in the middle, kind of more of a grayish undertone, which makes it look more like a shadow, but it still gives you that kind of bronze look to the face. If you've ever worked with a Balm's products, like their powders or anything like that, you know that they're extremely creamy and pigmented and very soft and blendable. I would even say that this is a lot more blendable than Benefit Hula, which I know a lot of people love. I love that bronzer as well, but I do like this one more. And the best part is, is it lasts all day long. With a lot of bronzers I find on me, they kind of splotch off during the day, and it's really annoying, especially when you spend time contouring. But with this, it doesn't fade off, it lasts all day long, and it looks beautiful. Next, I have concealers. These are the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Dark Circle Erasers. Amazing, amazing, amazing. My favorite concealer versus high-end, drugstore, anything. These are my favorite. I have the shades Medium and Neutralizer. I use the Medium to conceal the dark circles and the Neutralizer to highlight. It's a very yellow-based highlight, and these are amazing. I love the formula, and I love the packaging. Some people don't like the sponge. I personally love it. I think it makes application a whole lot easier because I don't have to put it on my finger, or I don't have to use a brush if I don't want to. I can just put it on, and it kind of blends it as you're applying the product. And the formula isn't really, really runny, which I like. It's a nice kind of cream formula. So it's almost set when you put it on and you just barely tap it and it blends it perfectly into the skin. It doesn't crease and it feels really nice on the skin. Not to mention the coverage is flawless. So my next product are these MAC Luster Drops in Sunrush. This is the gold color. They also have Pink Rebel, which is a champagne-y pink color, but I prefer this one, and these are amazing. This is like a liquid highlight, so kind of like Benefit High Beam or something like that, but they're a little bit more natural looking. This doesn't even have sparkle. It's not sparkle. It's not glitter. It's a natural skin kind of glow. I'm wearing it now on the tops of my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. This gives just the most beautiful, natural glow to the face, and it's not something too extreme, so if you're a little scared of wearing a highlight or maybe you have oily skin and you don't think you can wear a liquid highlight, I would definitely recommend these. Also, another way I use this is that I mix it in with my foundation sometimes and it gives just a glow to the face. It's not shiny, it's not oily looking, it's just a glow. So I'll mix this in with maybe a more matte foundation that 
doesn't have a whole lot of glow because sometimes I don't like a completely matte look and this will just add that beautiful radiance to the face. Next I have two mascaras. I couldn't just say one of them because I never use them alone and it's the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara and the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume. I love these so, 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 so much. So the Jordana Best Lash Extreme is I think $2.99 or $3.99 at Walgreens. Extremely affordable and it gives you almost like false lashes and I know no mascara will ever replace false lashes because I mean I mean let's be real nothing's gonna replace it but this does try really hard and succeeds very well for a mascara for me it just adds so much volume and length and just definition to your lashes and makes them look huge like I almost feel like I have false lashes on when I wear these because it adds so much volume to your lashes also it does amazing things for my bottom lashes and it never like falls or chips down I hate when mascaras do that so I love this so much and then the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Love this. This is my favorite layering mascara. So I always layered these two. I layered these two today. I don't know if you can tell. Next, I have my MAC Chromographic Pencil. This is in NW25 NC30, and I adore this product. This is a liner. It's flesh tone peach color. You can use this product in a ton of different ways. The way I use it is as an eyeliner on my waterline, but you can also use it on your lips as a lip liner. It's safe for both. I've kind of started to get out of the black liner phase. I know how I'm saying that and I'm wearing black eyeliner in my waterline. Um, I will wear a lot more of black and brown eyeliners in my waterline now that fall is coming. But this summer and since the spring, I really haven't been wearing a whole lot of black liner in my waterline. And most of my videos I don't wear. In a lot of my tutorials, I don't put it in my waterline because it is so hard for me to clean out and I feel like... Even when I take my makeup off, the black liner is there for days. Like, you can never get it out of your waterline. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I have that problem. And the thing with this is that this really opens your eyes up, and it's not as extreme as a white eyeliner. Because white eyeliner can make your eyes look huge. It extends your waterline. So this is the same thing. It's just a peach flesh tone color, so it looks more natural, and it's not as doll-like and as extreme. But it still gives you that big, open eye effect. I could put this and some mascara on, and I'm good to go. My eyes look like I tried to do something I don't know and so many people always ask me why do your eyes look big your eyes look so big and it's really I mean it's because of this pencil so I love this so so much and I highly recommend checking them out and then my next product is Sigma brushes I would repurchase any of these in a heartbeat if someone stole all my makeup I would rebuy all of them because I love them so so much I just picked out three of my favorites which was hard to do the Sigma F80 flat top kabuki Perfect for buffing and foundation. I know a lot of people love this brush. Then the Sigma E25 blending brush. I love for using this in the crease to blend in a crease color. And it not only puts the product in there, but it blends it at the same time. So this is amazing. Just used it. And then the FO5 Small Contour Brush. This is my favorite contouring brush. It really can get that defined contour and it blends beautifully and these are such high quality brushes and they're very affordable. Next is a product I know everyone's mentioned in a video that's done this tag and it's the Naked Palette. I love this palette. My favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. Seriously, I know you guys are probably sick of hearing about it, but if you don't have it, you need to invest in it. I think I'm about to buy the Naked 2 just because I love this so much. I know they're different, but I still think the Naked 2 has a lot of pretty colors. So I use this every single day. I mean, there's always at least one color I will use out of this palette every single day. I'm a very neutral kind of girl when it comes to eyeshadow, so I use this all the time. Naked, my favorite transition color. It's perfect. I use Virgin a lot as well to highlight the brow bone or the inner tear ducts of my eyes. And then Half Baked, amazing, all over the lid color. So I love these so much, and I highly recommend checking them out. If you don't, I can live off this palette for the rest of my life and be happy. And then my last product, this wouldn't be me if I didn't include a lipstick because you guys know I'm obsessed and love lip products. So my lipstick I would repurchase would be MAC's Kinda Sexy, favorite lipstick of all time from MAC. This is a perfect nude pink color, not too nude or brown, not too pink. It actually comes out a little bit lighter on your lips than it looks in the tube. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And it makes your lips look really pouty and kind of Angelina Jolie. It's kind of that color. 
perfect. Love it so, so much. So those are the 10 products I would repurchase. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you'd repurchase. Also, I just started blogging. I will link my blog down below. I'm going to start doing more product reviews on my blog, The Beauty Box. The link is thebeautybox12.blogspot.com. My first review is up. There might be more by the time this video is up and it's on the new Maybelline Color Tattoos, the runway ones so gorgeous, obsessed with them. So check that out down below if you're interested. I would love to do more product reviews on my channel. It's just not really possible with timing for me. So I want to do more reviews on my actual written vlog. Also, say hey to me on Instagram. I love Instagram. Um, I try to do a picture every day, if not two. So definitely check me out on there. And Twitter, I love talking to you guys. So I hope you're doing well. Thank you as always for watching my video and subscribe if you haven't. It really means a lot to me. And I will see you in my next video. Video. Bye.